Hey guys, I just got back from a really huge collection in Massachusetts. I'm so tired. Well, I'm always really tired out right right after these unbox right during these unboxings. You can see I'm stumbling just because I have to travel really far to find really good stuff. And then here I am showing you. So, without further ado, here's that collection that came out of an attic in Massachusetts. Fantastic Four Annual Number Three. You got. That's the wedding of Mr. Fantastic and Sue, which is Invisible Girl. So annual number four. Got X-Men 16. This is Sentinels trying to kill the X-Men. If you saw any of the X-Men movies, you'll know what I'm talking about. X-Men number 17. I think this is 1966. Nice, nice red cover. Very nice strong colors. X-Men number 18. Iceman shall fall! This is Magneto. X-Men number 19, which is the first appearance of Mimic. X-Men number 20. I never really love this cover. It's almost like a bank robber, kind of silly in a way, but X-Men number 20. X-Men number 21. I always love these old bags. It's just so nice people actually put them in bags 50 years ago. X-Men number 23. She's Cyclops shooting all, his, all those villain guys. Yeah, so I got a call. And this collection was, it was... I'll just keep showing you as I'm talking. This, uh, this older gentleman called. He had just had him in his attic, forgotten about him. And, well, it was a journey. We, we traveled about four, I think it was four, like maybe five hours. Oh. It was quaint. There was like no, no major chains around. All like the nice mom and pop stores. And, well, he didn't want them anymore. He didn't want them anymore. And we bought it. And it was great stuff. A lot of nice early 1960s Marvels. A lot of the collections we get are people who read these comics back in the day, bought them for 12 cents on the stand, and they're very happy when they learn that that comic you bought for 12 cents could be really worth a lot of money. X-Men 87. This is right before the new team really came in. This is really like reprinting right in this issue, like right in this like, issue numbers of the 70s and 80s. They really reprinted a lot of issues just because the X-Men were almost failing. In issue 94, the X-Men are reborn, and the X-Men are good again. People like them, and they become one of the most popular Marvel character families. Right in this time, they were failing. They were almost discontinued. They were so bad. This was a repeat. This is a reprint of a 19, early 1960s story. Let me show you some more comics we picked up in this collection. Avengers number 15. They're all fighting. The Avengers. Villains. It's uh, the Enchantress and the Executioner. It's Wasp. Giant Man. Giant Man and Wasp, which is the same thing as Ant Man and Wasp if you saw that movie. Iron Man, Thor, or Captain America. Number 16. Avengers, assemble! R number 17. Oh. And let me just show you this, uh, this really good one we just picked up as well, from the collection. X-Men number one! In the, uh, protective comic bags. Yeah, it's a, uh, protective comic bag. I think, uh... I protected it a little bit. It's, it's pretty beat up on the spine, you can see right here. It's pretty low grade, but it's... Hey. It's an X-Men number one. Who's this guy? John Penny F. It wasn't the guy who we bought it from, but some guy named some guy named John Penny with just write his name. And well, that's just what makes comics cool. It gives it a story. All right, thanks guys. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.